Let's attempt together this question from November 2018, where two topics are combined, probability and counting. Stop the video, then try the question by yourself first. Find the probability that a randomly chosen student is studying music. So here we have students that study music. They can be boys and girls. So the probability would be 52 out of the total number of students. And that would be the total number of students that are counted here, 160. Which gives 13 out of 40 or 32.5%. Determine whether the events, a randomly chosen student is a boy and a randomly chosen student is studying music are independent and justify our answers. We know that if we call the first event A and the first event B, we know that they are dependent, independent if probability of A and B is probability of A times probability of B. So A, B are independent if and only if probability of A and B is, so we need to calculate each of these probabilities. Let's start with probability of A and B. Randomly chosen student is a boy and is studying music. So here are boys that are studying music. So this probability is 40 out of 160. Let's look at event A. Event A is the student is a boy. Here are all the boys. So probability of A will be 20 plus 40 plus 32 out of 160. Event B is the student is studying music. So here are the students studying music. 40 plus 12 out of 12. Oh, sorry, out of 160. So we need to choose to check if this relation is true. When I calculate all this probability, I get this relation where left hand side is not the same as right hand side. Therefore, the conclusion is that A and B are not independent. Let's look at the next question. Find the probability that a randomly chosen student is not studying drama given that the student is a girl. So this suggests conditional probability, given that it's a condition. So let's call A, this event, a student is not studying drama. Let me use another letter, let me use C. And the student is a girl, let me use G. So I need to find probability that is studying drama, given that it's a girl. I think a better notation is D from drama. It's much easier to follow. Try to find use meaningful notations. So probability that a student is studying drama given that it's a girl. And I apply the formula probability of a drama and a girl over probability of being a girl. And now how many people are studying drama and girls? Girls that are studying drama, I have them here, 37 out of how many girls? 15 plus 12 plus 37. So my answer will be 57.8% to three significant figures. Let us now look at the last question. This is not an easy question. Because I need a probability that exactly one student is studying music and exactly two are boys. So the problem is if the 
or the cases are if the one that is studying music is a boy or not. So I have the following situations. When the person is studying music and it's a boy, and for the other persons I, ha I need them not to study a music and a boy because I need another boy not to study music and girl. Or if the person who studies music is not a boy but it's a girl, then I need the one not studying music to be boy and the third one not studying music to be a boy again. So I have two cases and the total probability will be a sum of the two probabilities. Now I bring the table here to see it better. And the challenge now is to make sure that I don't count some of the people twice. And if I look here, if I look here, music and boy, music, non-music, boy, non-music, girl, are mutually exclusive. I don't, I can't have some people that will fall in each of these, in two or three of these categories. Therefore, in this case, probability of music and boy is 40. So from this 40, I need to count, I need to take one. So it's 40 combination one or 40 times, because I need all possibilities. Not boys, not boy, oh, sorry, not music and boy. So boys that don't study music are these ones. So I need to choose 56 combination one. So I need one of these 56, which is 56. And now I need a girl that doesn't study music. So these are the girls that don't study music. So it will be uh, 40, 50, Two, fifty-two combination one, and this will be the first case. Plus, let's see what happens in the second case. Now let's look at the second case. So, music and girl. Girl studying music. So we have twelve. So I need to choose out of twelve. I need to choose one plus and now boys that don't study music i need two boys that don't study music that's why i count them together so boys that don't study music are 24 plus 32 so i have 56 combination two all together i will have therefore 40 combination one times 56 combination 1 times 52 combination 1 plus 12 combination 1 times 56 combination 2 out of how many teams, I'm counting teams, right? How many teams of three students I have? 160 combination 3. In how many ways can I choose 3 out of 160? And this will be my probability. I use my calculator and I get the answer which is 20 plus 20.1 percent to three significant figures. So here is your question.